here. Of course, we expected WRGS to win the Rapid. They didn't, but they came back super, super strong for the Blitz. So can they do it? The Indian team is hungry for that victory as well. So let's see what happens. Our chest today. I, um, I mean, Magnus, had, I think he's won all his games. And... I think he's won all his games. I can check that. Let's actually check that. Has no, he drew one game against Report, so he's yes. won. Whoa! He won his mini match against Report. You see what happens, guys? Wow! Magnus went for the Kings Indian, and he played this d6 e5 before Castle. Okay, and there's been a Jeez. queen trade already. Right. Yes, it's an end game. We should zoom it. Ah, uh, we cannot zoom it in more, yeah. I do have the, the games though, so you have you the have games, okay, yeah, yeah, but my stuff is uh, total collapse, I mean, nothing is working. Okay, Arjun just castled. So I'll just quickly check the other boards to keep you updated what the openings are. Nepo English opening against Sadwani, some classical line. Narayanan against Duda, well, real Serb, so they're starting pretty much from oh, wow. minus one, I'm guessing. You just won the exchange already. Yeah, maybe How did that happen so fast, Knight? It's not so bad, though. He walked into a fork. Oh, yeah, that really wasn't necessary. But basically, here nothing will help for, for me if, unless some technician is coming and he starts everything. Everything is broken, done. Nothing is moving. Yeah, so we really need someone to help Peter with, with the board, right? Well, let's just zoom in on the Magnus board yeah. and let's yeah. see what's going on there. But the problem, we missed out on the first moves, and now it's not so easy to... There, I have it right in front, Peter. You can just ah, okay. by looking at my... Uh, my ah, screen. good, okay. Now everything is clear, because I was expecting that the position is different. So we're in an end game with pretty much all the pieces on the board except the queens. Um, it does feel... It's a very double-edged end game, yeah? yeah. It's not the usual, typical, nothing is happening, there is so but much... You feel like the initiative belongs to white, right? Yeah, white has the e4 square, but black has this knight d4 resource. And uh, this is all kind of uh, crazy. The big question is how will Magnus solve the problem with his king on c8? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I definitely wouldn't want to be black, I have to say. I don't love this particular opening result for Magnus. For the moment, it's easier for white to play, yeah, that's yes. the point. d 3 but also, like, Magnus, sometimes it feels like he himself believes in him being endgame magician and goes for some endgames which are not that pleasant, just kind of relying on his overall understanding and so on. Yeah, it's interesting that he allowed this early endgame against Arjun. Does he feel like he's taking Arjun into some... Some territory where Arjun is not as dangerous? Well, we'll see. So, Arjun has planted the knight on e4. Yes, this is a nice outpost. And Magnus has slowed down, it's not so easy. Now also, after I got help and everything got this started, I'm having the position, so we can get the analysis board up. Nepo seems to be doing well against Sadwani. Wait a second, what happened, sir? Magnus captures... On F5, does it work? Five, which looks like... I mean, if it works, it's amazing, but at the same time, to believe that it does... Bishop C5, Knight takes E4... Bishop F8, Bishop D3... Or... What's happening? Bishop takes F8, Bishop takes F8... Well, Magnus in a lot of trouble. So That's simply an exchange down. And the king is on c8. If it would be different, look on c8, king on a8. It's a different story. What's happening? Well, Abdusatorov is winning against Pranav pretty convincingly. That's I think good that, news, yeah. yeah, no, I think WR, based on their positions, is doing fine, even if Magnus loses. Wow, but we, we have already seen some positions turn. So, yeah, Arjun has to make sure that he wins this. Oh, I mean, they're winning on... Oh, actually, Vadim is gonna lose. Yeah. Vadim is gonna lose. Just Arika is costing you probably. Well, just a draw. very quick update. Yes, Vadim loses. Abdusatorov completely winning. Narayanan with Duda. Arika oh. is maybe pressing. Narayanan uh, Duda is gonna be a big game because that one is not so clear. It's actually pretty balanced. Yeah, Abdusatorov is winning. Yeah, that will be a very important clash. But right now, all eyes on Arjun against. 
Yeah, but wait, if Ali loses and God forbid Magnus loses and Harika makes a draw, it's already two and a half. It's already two and a half, and then who knows if Sunil Dutt makes another draw. Yeah, that's why that Narayanan game versus Duda is gonna, Absolutely, yeah. gonna be the critical game. Because Nepal or perhaps is winning, but still some technique required. Oh, yeah, well, he's up a piece. He should be able to win. Bishop for two pawns, okay, but. Bishop d6, king h1, very professional, just removing the king from any kind of checks. And eventually he wants c5 and capture the pawn. Right? Yeah, c5, rook takes c5, opening up some funds. Magnus That's goes why c5. Magnus goes c5. b3, preparing bishop e4 and then control of the d5 square, exactly. King c7, bishop e4, now this is lovely. Bishop d5, knight e4, yeah, you can always circle around. Yeah. So like, if... White would play knight d5 and take with the pawn after bishop takes, then of course would black be, would yes. be very happy to have this. this but yeah, bishop d5, so the Berlin kind of idea with e5, bishop d5, e4 on the board, Magnus tries his only chance. Bishop b6, fe, knight e4 back, a, b, a, b, knight takes b3, so some rook invasion, rook f6. On the board, knight d4, the pawn on h6 will be lost, yeah, look, h6 happened, and now the h pawn will start to march. King c6, Magnus will rely on b7, b5 idea. h4. h4. But b5, c b5, he can't capture with the king because of the hanging bishop. Yeah, the bishop is still terrible. Yeah, bishop e7. The, so the knight on e4 is so h4. powerful, it's gonna yes. hold, yeah. hold up the c pawn. Yeah, b5 has to be played, and then cb, maybe king d5, just activate. You have to play for activity. Did he go b5, yeah? He played b5, yeah. Arjun still has 30 seconds. Look h7, I guess, very unpleasant. First he takes cb. King d5. d5, exactly. This is how you do it, yeah. b6. Wow. c4. Look h7, bishop b4. Well, this is a fight. Wow. Magnus is making it unclear, yeah. But okay, knight f6 check is there, and then you move the rook. Where do you go with the king? Magnus has little time on the clock. King c6 played rook b1. The same, 10 seconds each. Nah, yeah, I think Arjuna is taking over. Bishop d2, knight d7. Knight d7 is time. right? Rook b7, knight takes e5 check, king d5. This is the killer, right? Yeah, and he'll, he'll take the knight and still there'll be some. It's down two exchanges now, right? Two exchanges, Black still has the right. pawn on the board. Look, g 7 c3, h6. There you go, and this is a good trade for white. Now it becomes technical. Yeah. And now we can zoom in. I don't need to... Yeah, there is nothing to, yes. to commentate in terms of to make sure that yeah, nobody loses on time. Yeah, look 7 Look 7 seems professional enough. Ah, he plays look F7. F7. Right here. G4. Bishop F4, F4. why? F4. Why allowing this? I don't know. F2. But, but on the other hand, the G pawn is. G pawn, just yeah. yeah. Okay, good nerves. And seeing no ghosts. That's it. Yeah. Bravo. Well, let's look at Narayanan Duda because the match is going to come down to that one game. Narayanan is down a pawn, I guess. But yeah, there's still, there's still dr some drawing chances, right? Some drawing chances, but yeah, if this is a draw, then this is some fairy tale, yeah? Because black is more active, black is pawn up. Yeah, the only thing...